Wow. The glory days. Elder Chess. Back to back city champs. Yeah, dude. All this talk about chess is making me so f hungry. God f it. Let's give you some grub. So where do you want to go? I don't know, dude. It's pretty... It's pretty nasty out with that rain. Yeah. You got a dollar or something? You can just go to the vending machine. Alright, that sounds good. Alright. I met her in a club down in Old Soho where you drink champagne and it tastes like Coca Cola. C O L A Cola. She walked up to me and she asked me to dance. We were at the outer cafeteria because it's raining the outside, so we're gonna um, drill some vending machine food uh, here on Fantastic Food Search. We're gonna search out and find the best snack to get if you're on a budget here and you don't wanna leave out. It's not lunchtime, but you want something to eat. We have your beverages, your Powerades and Powerade Zeros and Vitamin Waters, your Dasanis, classic. Um, your Coke products, here we are at Coke School, your lemonades, and, and your snacks, okay? Something to wake up in the morning, I recommend Shockers. Some, uh, formerly, well, they're formerly known as Shockers, but now they're called Sweet Tarts, Chewy Sours, so. These new items, the Skittles Sweet and Sours, I haven't tried them yet, but I heard they're pretty tasty. A big Texas essential to an elder man's diet. Every elder kid's uh, come to school late and eat breakfast, and a big Texas classic breakfast move. Or if you're just pre-practice, you need to get something to bite to eat, fill up, get some carbs. Even seen a few elder players come up for a big football game, eat some big Texas's. Classic element to an elder man's diet. Okay, um, hot fries are a decent move, but we know that anyone can come into the halls of elder and find this stuff. And we are the fantastic food search, so we have to sort out all the foods and find the fantastic food. And I'll tell you what, it's a search. The vanilla Coke and M&M cookie combo. If you take a gander into the Coke machine, you'll see you'll see your Dasani's, even your flavored Dasani's, your juices, your um, your Cokes, and then if we want the vanilla Coke, right? They have Coke Zero, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Cherry, Coke, and Coke Cherry. So you might ask, where is the vanilla Coke? He said the M&M cookies are the other essential piece to that brilliant combo. Nowhere to be found in this vending machine. All the other vending machines around the school, you might say, hey, where are they? That's why we are taking you on a little search. Follow me. We made the journey. <laughs> so, but now Cook. There it is. The Lun vending machine in the basement. The one that houses the M&M's cookie. A classic C6. I'll demonstrate how you do a C6 right here. Price a mere Fantastic Food Search, episode four? Four. Four. Four it is. Four. What do we got here, Jeff? Well, uh, as we explained earlier, uh, classic m and cookies and vanilla coke. If you would like to open it, Sam. Oh, oh that noise. Let's get an initial Look at it rise to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like she's calmed down a little bit. 
wafty yeah. kind of. <laughs> Excellent. Do classic Coke smell sparkle when I pour myself a glass? That's good. <laughs> Party foul. We'd like our cook vanilla draft. It smells even better in the <laughs> plastic cup. First sip. I mean, it's, it's downright amazing. Wow. Only 260 calories per bottle. <laughs> Only. This is literally like health food almost. <laughs> with those numbers. <laughs> Remember, guys, this is the classic elder combo. We call it the basement combo. I'll, I'll open uh, my cookies now. <laughs> Party foul! Now we're on to the cookies. And uh, we can go over the same wafting technique as the Coke. And I, I wish Ooh. you could smell it. It just hit me. I didn't even waft it. It just hit me. I'll tell you right. Just Stop. to get a close up on the cookie. Um, you see here, I have a nice uh, crust, you know. Got a couple little M&M &M shards yeah. in there. Honestly. The perfect cookie would have probably two to three mini M&Ms on it. Uh, this one's got like two and a half, so this is a pretty good one. So uh, I'll take my first bite. Wow. I, I could have helped myself, honestly. Mm, wow. Yeah. I mean, it's so nostalgic. This combo, this just screams freshman year. I'll tell you right now, before I even swing, I know it's going to hit me. Uh, dipping the cookie in the Coke. Oh. So uh, another kind of <laughs> tip or trick that not many people know of is uh, actually taking the physical cookie and dunking it in the Coke, sort of like milk and cookies, but you have cookies and Coke. Um, dentists, you know, might not recommend this, uh, but <laughs> they, they don't know anything, so uh, just go for it. Mmm. It's so probably the most depressing part of the review is uh, when you eat the last cookie, but... It's just one of those things you gotta savor. Yeah. And natural ener energy. Yeah. It's way better than some like energy drinks or supplements, like spark. Or yeah, su basically yeah. supplements are bad for you. Yeah. But not M M cookies. The FDA is pretty much rigged now. Uh, fellow vanilla cook enthusiast, uh, Mr. Rocco Salamone. Some would say he's even an aficionado. Good up. Welcome to the show, Rocco. Welcome to the show. Right here. Right here. Oh, I'm going to show. Yeah, you can have the rest of the bottle. Like from the bottom. He likes the training bottle. Good technique. Bottle person, yeah. All right, well, I think we found our seats, and now it's time for a review. I'm going to review simply the cookies alone, because they're probably my favorite element of the classic basement combo. So M&M cookies, I'm at a 10 star rating, I'll give them easily a 9.4. Now Rocker's gonna review the vanilla cookie. I'm reviewing the Coke, it's a, uh, I'm sorry, vanilla Coke. This is this is really something special to me, you know? I'm a, I'm a big pop guy. I pride myself on pop and everything that I have to do with pop, you know? Oh. My rating has to be out of 10, I'm gonna have to go with 9.2. A 9.2, that's one of the highest. You know, only Mountain Dew surpasses 9.2, and that's because Mountain Dew is just God. At school, I'm a big vanilla cookie yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. It, different vibes for different yeah. things. You know, 9.2 on the vanilla cookie. Skyline, gaming, you're Mountain Dew. You're Mountain Dew. You're Mountain Dew. Hang out with bros on a Saturday. That's a dude kind that's of That's a, that's a that's dude. A so I'm here to review the basement combo. So we already, they already gave their ratings home. What more can I say? I mean, they already put it all out there. They, um, they're aficionados on this. They know everything, pretty much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sam gave the cookies 9.6. Rocco gave the cook 9.2. So uh, that'll give my rating about 14, 15 um, out of 10. So uh, if you're hungry, seventh period, you know, or fourth, or fourth period, any or third. Time. Or you get here in the morning. It's kind of yeah. school. It doesn't even matter. Um, that's it for Fantastic Food Search 4. It's, uh, great. it's great to join you guys today. It's great to have a great show. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Rocco. Rock 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 Rock. That's what I'm here for. You know?